In the past, I've done a couple videos on how to do multicam editing in Final Cut Pro 10. There'll be some cards here if you wanna check them out and revisit how to do it exactly. Uh, but today I wanna to revisit how uh, I keep using multicam and why I prefer it when I'm editing, even if I'm only using one camera angle. So even though it's called multicam, I think it's the best way to do it. I use it for my YouTube videos, for client videos. And so I'll jump here to the computer and show you something I filmed recently. This is in an interview with two cameras and it turned out to be a one minute and 10 uh, second video. Actually, this is just a small snippet of a larger video. So there'll be, this will be integrated into a longer video. Uh, actually, if you look at the multicam again, Check out those uh, the videos to the, the tutorials on multicam editing in the description if you want to check them out or there'll be cards here somewhere. Uh, but I already set up the multicam. This is a main angle. We shot it with the Ursa G2. I recorded audio internally into the Ursa. Let me show you. I dropped a uh, color finale into the video file and I started color grading here, added some layers with different curves. And then the B cam, uh, this is a Blackmagic Pocket 4K. Did the same thing. I matched it to the A cam using the the comparison uh, window Command 8, and you can match up the color grade that way, right? And actually, also did some. Let me get rid of this. I did some audio um, enhancement to the main cam uh, because the audio was recorded internally. I did not record externally, but then the, there, there was a white noise, which I had to remove. So what I ended up doing, I exported the audio by itself without any effects. I took it into audacity. I did a noise reduction there and I exported the audio file, brought it back into final cut pro 10, which is what you see here. And I added the EQ compressor and adaptive limiter. If you want to learn how to do noise reduction in audacity, there'll be a card here to video. Um, I don't like to do noise reduction in final cut pro 10 because I've, those plugins are not as good as audacity. So that's why I ended up doing it that way. So, um, here you got three angles and the way to add an angle is you right click on any of these and add angle. So that's what I did. I just dropped the, the new audio file with the noise reduction into timeline to the multicam and I just lined it up and that was it you know now when you go to the multicam before you start editing anything you open up the multicam viewer command shift 7 look at the four angles select the audio file select this audio third angle which is just the audio that way it follows the audio throughout and then you go back to the just the video file and now you can just select two angles and you cut between a and b so let's say even if this was just a one camera shoot, the reason I would still create a multicam is because let's say I, this is a, originally I start with a, let me draw the original file. This is a 30 minute interview, right? If I start cutting and then I forget, if I forget to do audio enhancement or I start putting the color grade here with color finale, I have the plugin right here. If I drop in color finale, you start doing a bunch of color grade. And then later on, I changed my mind, but I already started doing a bunch of cuts here. Right. And, 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 uh, just doing a bunch of things to apply the color grade. I would use an adjustment layer and apply adjustment layer. But then, um, I just think it's better to just do multicam and go back into the multicam if let's say oh this this main cam i wish it was warmer i can warm it up here right using uh, color finale and it'll apply it to the whole clip same thing with b if it's not exactly matching up later i could still um, change up the temperature tint or the maybe the LUT or whatever to match it up closer to the a cam which often ends up happening to me i um, like midway into editing the whole thing, or maybe at the very end, I'm like, Ooh, I want to add more, more, uh, warmness into the image or whatever, or maybe I want to change a little bit of the audio levels. Then you can just go in here into the multicam instead of trying to do it here at the, at the project level. So that's the reason for it. It'll, it'll simplify the working process of, uh, making later changes in the edit. So. Uh, hopefully this is clear enough on why I choose to go this route. 
If you have any questions about it, please ask away down below. Also, if you want to check out Color Finale, there'll be a link in the description. It is affiliated link. It doesn't cost you extra. It just gives me a small commission if you end up buying through it. All right, uh, that's pretty much for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you learned something. If there's anything else, please let me know. As always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.